glasses. They're not. These are not my glasses. They're not. They are. I wonder where they came from. From tiger stripes? Well, you know, you supported the tigers for a lot of years. Cool. Because I've never seen them. <laughs> Get a brief of that to put on the television station. The the ad. Just a, yeah, the, yeah, the job opening ad. Mm -hmm. We have to uh, appoint Gracie to to uh, take the position of Carolyn Nichols. Uh, I'll be able to make a motion to Gracie Nichols to fulfill the next part term of Carolyn Nichols. Second then. Okay, it's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, motion carried. I really appreciate Gracie taking that position over, I think. We need some voice down here in this end of the county. So, or in this county, actually. Um, we got the mm -hmm. I thought we were done with these. Yeah. Oh done. no, no. I'll go get it. Oh, bunch of them here. Is it an explanation? Are they corrections? Um, they? They're on real estate. I'm, some of them are ads, I'm sure. Some of them are vapes. Those come out of the appraisers. You know, when Carl has the hearings mm -hmm. on the property and stuff. So. So we only have one vacancy now left for the whole mental health, uh, council on aging. Uh, I think I got mine all filled, didn't I? Yeah, I well, think so. I think the clerk report is it, and it's oh, no, oh, no, no. Oh, no. Yes, and I have talked to, talk to everybody I know. I'm sick of that you personally. Oh, I don't live down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I don't want to lie, my father's dead. So. <laughs> I don't think that's fair. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Why is that? Because he doesn't do that. What well, about your uncle? And he's the one that won't take the job. He'll be back. Really, all that advice he was giving me, and he was to Yeah, yeah. Well, it was a good thing that he was These are all adjustments that Carl's making after hearings. And he's, right. He's looked at them and said, you're not quite right in adjusting them. And they're all down. Okay, and then the next thing is after that is adopt the job description of the economic I'd look development. over after that. I could say that. I like the most part of the case, but I can't remember. Um, well, we took out the four years, or the, the specifics on the degrees that you remember that you had, they had those specific things listed, and then um, 
we tweaked that one sentence about that? the tourism and the, I don't have yeah, my um, own copy. Well, I think I do, but we, mainly we, we took out stuff about tourism. Yeah. And then kind of wordsmithed it to where developing new attractions, events, and, and, uh, and facilities to enhance the economic development of Stafford County and to promote specific county and city activities and that's events. That's, that's, yeah. Take, uh, so is this require a motion to adopt yes. this res this I want to do this first? Sure, go ahead. I uh, move that we accept the tax roll corrections. You want to be more specific. Oh, yeah. I second. It's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay, okay. I make the motion to approve the job description. I'll second it. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Um, I guess I need authorization. That's yeah. the grant for Doris. She's on the other day. Uh, she was already here. She just left. She brought that Friday. We have a phone book in here. There it is. chair of the committee who ran the committee yesterday and um, two others on the committee and I provided them this that um, you know just points on why Stafford County should be included by just virtually any other measure we're exactly the kind of county that they are trying to target and um, so one senator had already come with an amendment that would have added five counties by definition which still didn't pull Stafford County in and then they just put it in yeah, so we're in. <laughs> just side. wrote it in. We're really special. <laughs> so as long as we can preserve it in committee. I mean, well, it's also got to go through the floor of the Senate, but yeah. um, it got marked up on Friday in the House. It's really moving, you know, but the memorandum only came out a week ago. So, so <clears throat> what again can that do for us? The, main, the big one is that anyone that moves to the county from out of state, um, has state income taxes waived for five years. So, particularly being close to Reno County, I mean, if you guys like last week talked about the impact of Siemens and associated businesses, if people move in from out of county that even work in Reno County, they get no tax 
liability in our county, but not Reno. So it's a nice comparative advantage. Also, Pratt and Barton aren't aren't included. So to be in in comparison to some neighboring counties may be nice. Well, they have several people to meet now to the council of work. The way that they're doing it, it's like if you move in from out of state, out of state. because the, that's the way. So it's just out of state. It's only out of state okay. um, because they're figuring that you're not paying state income tax anyway if you're moving in from out of state, so it doesn't budget score. Yeah, okay. I didn't come up with a plan. I just want us in there if they're going to do it. So right. um, one of the other provisions is that kids that move in from out of state that have um, student loans can be at least partially forgiven if they so and those are probably the two big ones but there's some other ones too um, and this all pertains to people moving in from out of state to these counties to these defined counties as opportunity, as opportunity yeah. zones yeah. right so, cool work and trip, I think This week I'm, I'm taking an entrepreneur to meet with um, the Advanced Manufacturing Institute. We're going to see if they would be willing to put some R&D against this idea. So that will be kind of the next thing this week. So. Okay, and I have talked to a friend of mine named Bert Esfeld. He has Esfeld Construction in Great Bend. He, uh, there's a shop on the south side of the city, and uh, he's trying to sell it. And he's got a little bit of a farm. He's got a quarter in Stafford County. And what he'd like to do is move his business into Stafford County. And then he wants to build a sand pit, a gravel pit. He has gravel under his farm. He knows from... Uh, I think Wallfield Research building. And he has the equipment, he's, he's dirt construction. He has the equipment to move the overburden off, and he, he said his core sample show he has 65 feet of gravel, a layer of 65 feet deep of gravel, which is unbelievable. And uh, he'd love to explore it. He's checked into it a little bit. And he's running into water right problems, and this just throws me. Maybe you know more about this than I do, but I, I, from what I, from what I remember, it's been a long time since I, I think they've changed the rules. Is what I'm saying, but a farm, a farmer, if you had a quarter of ground or even an eighty, you could go apply for for what they. It's not a domestic use, but like if somebody has a livestock operation, you use more than a domestic well. There was an allowance in there for like 10 or 12 acres feet, right? Yeah. And this is also what people were using to build their ponds and their little resorts and stuff around. I assume that was still intact. And he owns a quarter of the ground. He claims he cannot get... First of all, he claims you have to have water rights to have a sand pit, which just blows me away. But I'm sure he knows. I mean, he's checked into it, and he says it's because of your evaporation or some goofy thing. I don't know. Do you guys know anything about any of this? The second thing is he claims they won't give him water rights, even like a four acre. He said I only need a three or four acre pond surface area. And therefore he only, and you know, and he's not talking about inches of water, he's talking about surface area, which is, you know, we deal with acre feet or acre inches of irrigation water. He's not even consuming the water, so I'm very confused by it. But he's run into a roadblock because of this. So there's two things he'd like. You know, he'd like to move his business out here in Stafford County permanent, which is which is great. <clears throat> and then the second thing is he'd like to create a new business, which is the gravel pit, which I would love to be able to buy our gravel from the local. Do, so we always have a can. I guess you have to pay so much water. If you just pump, you pump the water around, it goes right back into the. I, you know, I question myself. Most, most said, water is returned. You pump the sand up and the water, it goes right back into the. This is what he's claiming he's running into. So I. This county said. Construction said, business and then the sand pit. But he's, but he's trying real hard to sell his shop in Great Bend. The taxes are killing him. He said he's got this big building, which is valuable, but he doesn't need it. 
and you'd like to move everything out to into Stafford County, and, and, and you know that equipment is all taxable. That's not exempt stuff. All the scrapers and hose and dozers and back hoes, that's all taxable equipment. So that's a nice little revenue source in itself, and could save him a fair amount of money. You know, Venture, Venture was doing that, moving it into radium for a while, saving a bunch of money. Well, Bert's not as big as Venture, obviously, but still, that stuff adds up. Well, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny had pit one time down there south of Stafford on the fans down there. They had a uh, sad pit down there for years and, uh -huh. and produced out of that. You know, and it, was, it was a puppet operation, but I don't know whether it figured out. But they, the county had, had their own pit down there. Maybe the county has water rights. Well, they did, I know, years ago. But the county owned it? Well, they leased ground, but they, I mean, for, for him, but, but they had the <coughs> But, uh, I don't, I'm really confused by the whole water right issue, and that seems to be the main roadblock he's got at this point. I think if we could address that, we could talk to him seriously about that. It's, you're right, it's two separate things. Which, you know, we already have the, 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 the what do you call it, tax abatement? Neighborhood. Neighborhood. Neighborhood revitalization. We already have that in place. And, you know, he would come out and have to build a building of some sort. It just wouldn't be anything like what he's got up there. And then, of course, the equipment would be housed home here, and, and that would be taxable, and uh, better at a lower rate than Barton County, apparently. So I think it's exciting. But he needs help. He truly does. And I just didn't know the answer, so. The water rights is the main issue right now. His name is Bern It's S. Bell Construction. Those are the two fun members. Those are the same phone number, so he is divorced. I was afraid the one would be his wife, but if it is, you'll know. <laughs> Pretty quick. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> there won't be a gray area. It doesn't sound like that. And tell him that I talked to you, so he's not just totally okay. taken by surprise. Okay. You think my glasses aren't I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Can you see if you have them? Yeah, I like them. Are they yours? A pair. They are now. I tried to give them away and nobody would take them, so I guess they are. Did they come out of your pocket? <laughs> I didn't. I, honestly, I thought they were black. But I guess they're mine. Yeah, I got a few. Thanks. Okay, great. Good. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, actually, I just had a couple things. Uh, just a reminder of the open house Sunday at the fire station. Got that on the calendar. And the only other thing I have is, is uh, the Forester Grant, the Kansas State Forester Grant is up again. That is uh, a 50-50 grant, and we've applied for that in the past and uh, successfully got that grant. Uh, we have the money in, in our budget to, to cover the other, but just need your permission to apply for it. What uh, our intentions are is to add on to our, we, we bought some smoke masks and filters. These are for the wildland, and, uh, but we still have additional ones to to get everybody out there and, and actually just to put some in reserve and um, just be that grant money did. So 50% of it would be grant money. And we're going to get up to $5,000. So. so we get five and we have to max five. No, we, we, we spend 5000 and oh. they covered 50%. So 2500 Yeah, 50 50 All right, sounds good. Anita? Yeah. And I guess just going to hang them up and let like no. this? Well, I mean, <laughs> the filters that would be a good thing. That means there's no fire. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the good thing about the filters is you can put them in reserve. And with the way uh, tax monies are going, you know, it's hard to tell them what will be in the future. So I think um, go ahead and build up our stock. And uh, which, which we did that with uh, foam prior to my arrival, but we have plenty of foam. So yeah. I've stopped buying some of that. And actually, uh, for next year's budget, I'm going to move some of that because we don't need as, as much in that uh, particular line item. We've got a pretty healthy line item in that category. We have plenty of foam. So, we haven't had but, any airplane crashes, so we're 
No, no, but we, we use that foam. Uh, it's, it's actually, uh, I've been used for wildland, and you can use it for structures too. But, but, uh, but we've got plenty of that. So, okay. But that's not bad that we stocked up on that either. But you only, can, you only need to stock up so much, and then you're, you're stocked up for a while. It's good on oil field fires. Yeah, it works water, very well on that too. Water yeah. doesn't help in this one. Yeah. So I, I do, do I need a, a motion to to do that yeah, grant or not? Anything from the sign? No. no. Yeah. Just approval. Okay. okay. That's all I got. Okay. All right. Thank you, Steve. Okay. We'll recess. It's been five years since we both purchased mowers, and we're probably really not considered up there. But we're keeping the tractors. We're keeping the tractors, yes, sir. Okay. I didn't know if we were going to do a package deal here. No. I, I, Salty. That, that's seller's equipment. So and that's both of these, yes. And whose math is this? List price 39, government discount 9, and you come up with 33. Oh, that's my math. What did I do? You carried the 9 and subtracted the 10. Yeah, maybe I didn't. No, I took was, three decimal I was points doing that while watching TV last night. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know you're not supposed to do your homework in front of the TV. She's like my daughter. Headphones on, TV on. I'm studying, Dad. Phone ringing or texting. So three years ago, we traded 14. Pink's right. Texting. Uh, yeah, this is three years. So how many years is that? It's been five years. We traded in most. Six. That, that's that's what we The one on the right-hand side, the other on the left-hand side, that's what the mowers were last time that we traded for. You said three years, after three years. Yeah, we, we traded those at, those were three year trades. Oh, so three we, three. We, we traded in, in, in 03 and uh, 06, was, or 04 and 06. Yeah. Well, that's how it made it come up. It is 17.8. Is this, is yeah, that's the bottom <laughs> figure, right? Yes, the bottom figure is right. And that's for one or two? That's for two. Oh, this isn't a piece. No. Well, that's for the pair of them. That's for two oh. months, 17 and 8. Yes, so they're giving you a pretty good trade in. Yes. And In fact, it's probably better than it was a lot. I mean, is this out of Pratt? Yes, BTI. That's Cody. Cody Dick was a salesman. Okay, so are we buying a Schulte or a John Deere? Well, I was saying that I only purchased a John Deere just because of price. And then I did talk to. Uh, they don't give you a government discount on that? Evidently not. And then he's given nine thousand dollars for both mowers. And through that's for B both of them. That's, that's for both of them. And through BTI, we get eight thousand dollars. Jeez, so. jeez. Mm -hmm. you're not even trying. Well, I mean, I I don't know. Yeah, the Schulte's made in Canada. It's a better mower, isn't it? It's what the state polls. It's. I don't know. I talked to Kurt. Uh, I talked to the Pawnee County guy, and they, and they have pulled the Schulte. They liked it real well, but they had part problem getting parts. And I'll have to say one thing. I mean, John Deere, we really they used held up pretty good that day of time. That yeah, probably, I mean, we we've been we've been running three years, and I we decided last time. I think I talked to you guys about it, a little bit about running them another two years, and I, was, I can't see where it hurts running them the other two years. And they do have a five year, and both of them do have a five year gearbox warranty. So. I mean, that's, that's the main thing. Yeah. Well, other than the shields and stuff. I mean, that's your high dollar thing. Go with the box and shirt. I mean, the Schulte's a little nicer on a couple of, there's a couple of aspects that, that, I'll, that are a little nicer, but I don't think it's worth that much money at all. And besides, this is more or less local deal. I mean, what we're going to get. Yeah. And Cody does live in her town, so that's true. And he was very sure competitive. 
And there's some brochures and stuff on it. Seventeen eight is actually the final figure. Yes. So he's not actually giving us a nine thousand dollar discount. That come from back here on this page. And after you say that, I'm getting a look at it. I'm looking at it, and I guess I didn't. See. And I don't know quite how he came up with that either. Unless there were some add-ons right there at the bottom. For two. Two times 19. Well, here's your selling price. But then I think there was some add-ons right there at the bottom. I don't remember what the more I didn't have a copy of this. Right. This can be in. This is confusing. Independent. Implement. Jack. Which those are? That's pictures of them. That's, that's the John Deere Moore. And that's the two Schultes. Then, and what, the what they did was, that tires? Yeah. this is the cheaper of the two Schultes, and they just, they're not, as, they don't have as much hydraulics. I mean, they don't have a tail oh, yes. hydraulic and, and just a few other things. It's just a cheaper version. But most of the time, the state's been pulled out. $2,000. I think they've had pretty good bundles of that. That's, that's still pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. The, the, I mean, the list at the top, I mean, it's basically <coughs> this and the John Deere list the same. It's just John Deere's giving you a little better, more, giving you a better government discount and yeah. better. Uh, yeah, it's just different. I don't think he had it either. I don't see on here where he's even taking the trade in off. Well, it's not on there. No, it's not on there. It's on this. It's on that page. Yeah, he came up. With it. So he came up that figure there, and then brought it over here to this page, and then he took off. It's hard to hear. So that must have been, it must have been the base price, and then there must have been um, was there some addition for the, the uh, tires for the tires and then for the okay the jack and spray and spray okay well if you're gonna pay for, yeah we got two thousand dollars in freight and set up. and then you got another sixteen hundred in options well, that's probably the, that's but the after the spoke over the price is seventeen mm -hmm. eight right. for two more yeah for two more for a seal yeah. So basically, that, that is the base price. But that, that actually makes sense. Then it comes up to 33.8, then it takes the trade in off. So it should have been a higher figure at the top of the other. Right. Yeah, he didn't add that. He did. I didn't. He well, did, I, didn't didn't add, didn't, I didn't add. I didn't add any. He didn't that. add that into the. Thing. Yeah, I didn't add any on that on the base price. Which would have been another okay. sixteen hundred dollars, right? The. Let's see, we had a 3600 people bush hog. It's a cancer side bush hog, North Street, and a new bush hog. Oh, and okay. they traded in for a Schulte. And there's no comparison to the two marks. Yeah. You go here faster and, and it actually grows instead of just, you know, beats the weeds up. And I, and I, it's a John Deere. Are you going to be doing going back to a bush hog type thing? I mean, that, well, that pulled, cost the township a fortune to run that more. We pulled it? John Deere's for um, well, when Jack Moody sold us John Deere. I don't know how long Jack's been in the Yeah, but I mean, that cut well. I mean, we really are. There was some gearbox issues when, when the mowers first came out when they went to the CA. We had some gearbox issues and kept snapping a couple of them off and played to about the payment. But uh, well now they got five years now and that that's when they just got one year and they changed. Can you go out and mow just as fast and do just as good a job? I 
I can't say that about Schultz because he never pulled one. But uh, I mean, we milk on it fast enough. I mean, it's it's any rougher than that, you're gonna start. It's hard on equipment and dishes anyway, just because they're rough. And and this has got a little better system because the airbag system is so it's the John Deere has airbags on it. Yeah. Back to the but they're back, they're back on the back wheels. It's got airbags back there. And so it, 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 it helps it ride a little, a little better. Takes some of the jar out of the tractor. Yeah. yeah. So I think, you know, I think the John Deere's good enough. Yeah. And we're looking at $6,000 each difference <coughs> between the John Deere and the Shelby. Yeah, because you'd have to you'd have to look at the better Schulte to, to compare it to the John Deere, the uh, the, the XH, uh, not the FX. Yeah. So that would be a uh, thirteen thousand dollars difference. Fifteen thousand. Yeah. How many rollers do we have? We 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 don't do. That's it. Mm -hmm. Usually when we start around, it takes us about ten days. I mean, that's just good. Too. It, it depends on how much time they spend in the morning around signs and what we're trying to get accomplished. So, we get to decide which ones you get? Or is that what do we do? You decide that. No, it's not my decision. <laughs> Well, I, I think the place to get pretty lucky the whole time. You know, had, had real serious problems. You said that you get five year warranty on the gearbox. That kind of thing. That's, you get, that's quite a bit cheaper than you get if you took that. Uh, I mean, we, we can take $15,000 and do something else with it. Yeah. Put it this way, I don't, I, don't, I don't think the Schulte is worth fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, we trade them off for the junk to get more there. Yeah, yeah. just run until they're and you don't have anything to trade off. And I did talk to uh, Palmer. Had less problems in there. Was running some land prizes. I bet they're trading for three years. And probably looks like it's a little lighter duty. Maybe they have a heavy duty model. I don't know. Yeah, it's I more for I domestic that. use from what yeah. I've seen. I don't, I don't know that I want to pull one. Are their costs lower or do they cost less to own one? I don't know. I really did check in on that. You need Crestbuster to build one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we we'll leave this up to Phil, or shall we make the decision for him and go with the John Deere? He said he didn't want to make decisions. Well, I think I said John Deere is less expensive. I don't see why. Right. Uh, the less expensive ones have had the problem with it. Um, the prettier. The prettier. What color <laughs> tractors have you got? That's the important thing. Oh, green. Green. oh well, that, that's the important thing. You can't be, you know. <laughs> If they were a real tractor, we might have to consider something like that. Pink. Faded red. Okay. We need a motion. I move we buy the John Deere mowers. I second it. All right. It's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. I guess we're proud owners of John Deere mowers. Soon we'll be. What did you want to do on that two miles of go down there on the southwest road? Well, what do you have to yeah. Well, I mean, if we're going to do something with it, I need to start getting some things in place and talking to some people about getting the machine. I mean, it doesn't make much sense to keep it, does it? I don't think we can afford to keep it up a bit. You're talking about the old blacktop? The two miles south yeah. of the highway field. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's 10 miles of the purpose of the word, which said. 
That road, it runs out. Well, it goes down there by Harold and we're taking it. It's just all tore up. Oh, yeah, it's all tore up from two miles south of 50 back over to the Dillon Road. So there's about two and a half, five. I think there's six miles there. It's tore up from two miles. It's not. Just was, all the was there a reason they left the two miles and tore up the six? They, you, with us? <coughs> it wasn't my decision. Okay. It wasn't that. mine either. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. <laughs> but it, was there a reason, or is there any logic? Not to mind is there any logic not, to leave it, I guess? Not to my knowledge. Well, logic, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. Uh, is it logical to keep it? Well, from my tour, no, but I'm not familiar with the, the area well enough well, to Well, it's, it, it's more, we spend probably more time on patching and I can get you figures. So many of you guys can go down there and patch it up. And, and it's not going to do anything to continue to deteriorate without, you know, either putting some money in it. Because we can't go, we, put it this way, I, I don't feel we can keep going, going the route we're going with it, just patching it up. I mean, it's frustrating to the guys to go down there and spend all that time. And well, I think it's frustrating to the people who use it. It's well, I think so. I mean, it's, it gets rough. Because, I mean, when, when the harvest, when, when they bring a lot of crops up out there, they just... Well, they you know, I asked you when we were on the road touring, uh, you know, what does it cost us to maintain the tore up roads as opposed to what it cost us to maintain. Oh, this, well, those kinds yeah, of when we started that, I started that with Cindy and I will get you those figures. But even though we tear it up, we still have cost in the road. Is sure. I guess my point. And but what you're telling me, I think, is that the costs are much less than trying to maintain it. Well, I mean, the smooth up roads, you can run the crater down there and you can smooth it up. I mean, when, a, when an asphalt road gets rough, your options are very limited. That's how you're going to smooth it up. Right. You know, and, and, look. and they told me they thought that the prices were going to stay flat this year. They were about $2 a gallon for asphalt. I mean, that becomes, in, well, just, just to put the seal coat, seal coat on, at $2 a gallon, it takes about 3,800 gallons to seal a mile. No size of mile. Plus your sand, plus, plus your, your sand, sand plus all your probably labor. Probably and, and and that's all. And that's all it's going to do is fill cracks up. It's, it's not going to take care of any of your underlying problems. When face. you say seal, that's just basically spraying oil. Spray 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 that's spraying. Spray that's spraying. Spray spray yeah, that's a seal cut to keep moisture out. And he and he said how much? Thirty-eight hundred gallons per mile. Mm -hmm. so, so you're yeah. almost at eight thousand dollars a mile, right? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Plus, plus, plus your sand. Plus your sand. Plus, plus your cost of people. I'd say probably first, they're probably $15,000 off your period of labor and everything into the or more now. They'll probably be pretty close. Yeah. And that's not with the patching or anything else. So grading costs much much less than that. Well, a motor grader figure if he, FEMA rates on it are about $85 a software. So it's about $105. And you can drag a mile of road in 30 minutes. Yeah. About three miles an hour. Four, mm -hmm. four miles an hour is what I think. And they actually can drag it faster than that. But, but they shouldn't. Not in my country. The worst board, oh my god. Well, sometimes their tires are round and it's warm, yeah. yeah. Well, there's a difference whether you have bias plat tires, and some of them still do, or whether you have regular tires. You know, we went back to bias on our last grader because the guy on the board claimed they were smoother and better. And I don't know. I have I have mixed emotions. I would say I no. I ride a motor grader for too long. I mean, bias ply in the morning, especially when it's cold, if it's been sitting. Uh, you're supposed you, to you, use them. You're, you're supposed just, to get flat spots. All right, you've, set, you've, set up, you've had a motor rear set all weekend, and you go climb in it on Monday morning. Uh, you better put your seatbelt on because it's going to take a while for polyester or any type of glass ply tire to roll itself I agree. Itself I, agree. Out. And I, I think you're probably right. I mean, that was the debate we had. And, and, 
And since we went to radios, we've had a lot less flats. And quite honestly, they they, they grip better. I wouldn't believe it until we did it one day. One of the trucks got stuck with the Guevara, and they put them just regular tires, motor grader tire, with the radio, and it started squatting. And I, I if you if you took the bias plate, you spun. Well, you guys are way more familiar with the roads in this part of the county. I'm not opposed to tearing it up. I, I have trouble understanding why it's not quite ready for it. But I'm not going to... I'd be interested to see about You said you did something to put together down our house as close to... For dragging? Uh, you're right. Yeah. You said for, for maintaining... Oh, yeah, yeah. Up, no, so I can, we can... No, I can win for this one. I'd kind of be interested to see that, too. I, mean, I, think, I think we probably we don't have any choice. We expense of the oil right now, but... Too terrible, but I'd be interested to see what the actual costs are. That would be kind of something you have to grab us. Yeah, that's just from my knowledge because yeah. I'm so ignorant about the whole. Well, it's, no, it's, it's, it's something, you know, it's helpful. Yeah. It would be. Well, so you determine the future too, you'd have to have something, you know, what it's, what it is close to. I mean, I don't think there, there, there's not a very good traffic camp down there. I know it's under how Yeah, at times I'm sure it's pretty. It's like the old soy road. If I'd had you out there on one day during harvest, you'd have been amazed. <laughs> <coughs> but the other 360 days. In They're there. all underway. <laughs> Not mine, you, but you, you, <laughs> <coughs> most of those old roads I know because I spent a lot of time on them with the motor grader digging out holes. <laughs> but yeah, I, I guess that's my concern is even a road that doesn't look like it carries much traffic can still be vital. Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not and, saying it's not. So oh, yes, I mean, I'm and, 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 and quite honestly, it does give us a chance to find out where the problems are. And, you know, up there on the sewer road, we went up there and dug out holes and rocked them, and, mm. and done that. The only problem we've had is we get so much sand on it, it'll just start windrowing up. I'm sure you've noticed that. So you don't want to keep very much sand on it because it usually doesn't feel like it's muddy. No, it's still a better road than a dirt road. You know, or, uh, okay, well, well, I'll get us some figures. And we, sure. I mean, we already know what the end result is going to be. Well, it would yeah. be cheap for drag and to and patch and oil. And, well, I'd just like to see some figures yeah. and just see what we have so we get something. From now on, we can look at and know what's going to you know, have value. Sure. Oh, that's what we bought that program for. So, when Cindy, Cindy's going home mail today, I told her to stay away from me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she didn't look good. I told her just to, to stay back away from me. I don't. <laughs> I said, I don't need another of this. Okay. All right, thanks. Thank you. Okay, we'll recess. Hi, Carl. How we doing? Okay. Good. I just want to let you guys know I asked for, uh, and then typically I bail out the valuation notices by March 1st, um, and I asked for an extension from the state this year, and um, I didn't want to come to that until we got it granted. They granted it to me yesterday. I talked to them, and, uh, and then they sent me an email. So. I got a letter stating that we they didn't grant it 30 days, so I'm, I'm not going to mail out the values March 1st. It'll probably be probably the two three weeks later, so uh, the middle of March towards the end of March. So I'll come in and let you guys know though when I set the date when we mail them out. That way, because you guys always get phone calls and it's still sort of too. So so that's why I thought it would be important that you guys know what the values do go out. I don't want to get more phone calls. Probably not. Happy? Happy? We yeah. just refer them back That's to That's the only one they call. The only one they call are the happy ones. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's all I have. I just want to let you know that I thought we should put that all about. Okay. Oh. I invited to the zone meeting. He's all paranoid. Oh. What, are you just having a meeting for yeah. fun? Yeah. Okay. Um, you try to get some more manuals made, passed out. 
Is this manual right here? No. That's another one. Okay. I thought you had the new one. I had the new one, but we uh, talked to Victor Foster, and it's he don't have it on. Where to the on my old manual? That's what I, I was asking you. It's pretty old, isn't it? <laughs> this is all this is up. The original <laughs> one. Yeah. I'll probably just make some more. We'll probably make some more copies. You might want to keep that anyway, just for shooting here. Yeah. Just for old times' yeah. sake. Yeah. So now I hear we're going to have some refreshments at the meetings. And he's, all he's all upset. Snoopy about lift over there, Doctor. We're going to have refreshments at our meetings. I'm never going to cook coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Not fair, Charles. Advanced croissants and latte. All right, well, that's all I have. We'll talk in later with uh, with the date when I'm going out there. All right, you guys have anything for me? That's good. Thank you. Thank you. We're playing baseball yet? Recess. What? Let's <laughs> talk about it. You got anything else on your agenda? Any? I don't think I do. Need it? Then everything's taken care of. We're adjourned.